Welcome to the Cafe Works CW5000 unboxing video. Here we're going to open up our box just like you would when you get it delivered to you. And we're going to talk through everything that comes with the CW5000 bottled water pump and then how we put it all together. All right, in this box, you're first going to find your install kit. This is going to include 3 8 beverage tubing as well as a variety of fittings in a tubing cutter. Next is our sort of welcome thank you card. It's got a QR card. It's gonna take you to this video and other videos. Next up in here, we have our power supply for the bottled water pump. This will be sort of our last step in getting everything installed. Here is the actual water pump system. On the left is the pump. On the right is the accumulator. It will probably come already connected like you see here. Additionally, we have fresh water pickup tube for a five gallon bottled water jug. We'll go ahead and take the box off the counter. And here we'll begin our installation process for the CW5000. We're gonna start by removing the plastic covering the water pump system. Next, we're going to install the pickup tube. What's important to do here is remove the little plastic covering from the inlet side. You're then going to just simply insert the male fitting into the female fitting. There's a small locking mechanism underneath. You'll just slide that up to hold the pickup tube hose in place. You're then going to plug in the float switch. That is going to be the top inlet. It says float. Next, we're going to build our install kit to connect to whatever single piece of equipment we're going to be using the CW5000 on. Commonly, we see this used with a single group espresso machine, a hand wash sink, or a pitcher insert. The install kit is going to come with pieces to install any one of those. Our best advice is to use this system with only one piece of equipment. First, we have our on off switch our check valve. This is the fitting if you are connecting in a pitcher rinser. It's an elbow valve. It'll have a little clear white silicone gasket. If it falls out in the bag, just pop that right back in. We also include two different fittings for the two most common sizes of stainless steel braided hoses on an espresso machine. You'll want to double check which one is going to fit your machine before you get started. You'll test that by seeing which one fits at the end of your braided line. We also include a tubing cutter to make sure that your tubing is cut clean and straight so it can seat into the fittings well. Here's your length of 3 8 tubing. It's about six feet. To get started, we're going to need to cut two smaller lengths out of the total length. This will be to add in our check valve and our on off. These are going to be closer to the uh, end of your install kit then closer to the accumulator side but how you're installing the system in your cart or home you can decide where you want these pieces placed after you've figured out the correct fitting for your equipment the rinser or espresso machine you're going to just insert one end of the blue tubing into that push fitting push it until it's fully engaged Next, we're going to add in our check valve, making sure to find the arrow on that and have it be in the flow of water, flowing out. Here's our on off switch. We wanna make sure that arrow is pointing the same way as our check valve with the out and the in, adding an additional piece of tubing to the end of the check valve. We're now going to push in our on off. Finally, we're going to add the longer length of tubing to the end of the on off valve. And that is our entire install kit. Ending with the fitting we need to connect to our piece of equipment, check valve, on off switch. Then the end of the longest length of tubing will get inserted into the accumulator. You can then uh, 
install your equipment to the other end of the tubing if you're ready for that piece. And then finally, here's our power supply. If that plugs into the bottom DC uh, inlet valve there and plugs into 110 volt power. This is your super quick start guide to the CW5000. We hope that this was really straightforward and it gets you making coffee, rinsing or washing your hands as quick as possible. Thanks.